Welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Talk Special Economic Zones. I'm your host Ainsley Brown. I'm the Senior Director for Regulations, Policy, Monitoring and Enforcement at the Jamaica Special Economic Zone Authority. In today's episode, we're going to cover charter cities. Now, I must confess, this is an area that's very much uh, a stretch for me. It's outside my normal expertise, so um, this is good. Um, it's forcing me to do some some further research. Uh, while I, I, I know and understand the basic concept behind charter cities, I will confess that I, I don't know the ins and outs, so this is an opportunity. So I, today's episode, we're gonna do a bit of an introduction of um, what charter cities are. Um, the charter cities are most associated with uh, economists called um, Paul Romer, but um, they're actually much older than that. Um, they're, you know, they're, 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 they go back, um, you could say, to ancient times. Um, even um, the uh, founder of Pennsylvania in the United States, um, um, I think it's Penn. Um, can't remember his first name now, but Penn, um, who the state is named after, he had, um, I think, to produce a charter or charter city in the United States from 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 the the crown, like the the crown of the UK or England, and um, but charter cities are in essence whereby. Um, it's a city, in a sense, run by uh, a private entity. And they basically set down the rules. It's separate and apart from the from the um, the regular economy. So it's very similar to a special economic zone. In fact, they can be layered on top of one, one another. Um, in many ways, um, the special economic zones in Dubai are charter cities, if, if you will, because their laws are separate and apart from the regular law in the in Dubai in the UAE. Uh, granted, the corporation that runs it is government owned and 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 and, and um, operated, so um, it's a little bit different. Um, but you could say that it's somewhat similar to 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 the charter city um, concept. In essence, the citizens that would live there would, um, you know almost pay their taxes or pay fees to this corporation and then of course the host government the host country would then uh negotiate it would ne of course well before i should say negotiate with 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 uh the entity and develop a charter that says you know uh these are the rules and um there's of course revenue sharing uh that occurs um or fees that occur that that go to the host country for the privilege of running um, the city. So the corporation would provide the usual services that a, a municipal corporation um, or a city would provide garbage collection, you know, hospitals, you name it, uh, they would they would provide it or, or there could be division of jurisdiction between the, the host government and the and the, um, the, 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 the the investor. Now the main the, the, the thing that's the that the, the the charter city or charterer, I guess that's what they called, uh, is focused on is the commercial aspects. So, they would focus on um, the how how um, contracts are formed, contracts are enforced, and all of this. The attractiveness of charter cities, in particular, in jurisdictions where, and in some ways, it's the attractiveness of of special economic zones, is that. Uh, a, a failure of the system has been identified and rather than reforming the entire economy in one go you in essence create this incubator that certain policies certain laws can be tested before it it, it uh, can be rolled out the chinese uh, are famous for doing this uh, shine an example of that is shenzhen in the south uh, close to hong kong uh, where experiments uh, were done in terms of how um, certain laws would operate, um, commercial law particularly would 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 run, and then many of these reforms were then rolled out to either other special economic zones and eventually to the entire economy. 
of China. So charter cities can work in that respect, but there are concerns. Um, the ceding of sovereignty is a major concern. Um, the fact that you would have a company, in a sense, functioning as a government, uh, you know, potentially having its own police force, uh, and all of those things uh, I know would bring up concerns for, for many folks. So I guess you could have a deep charter city and then a, a charter light, if you will. Um, and I guess you could say that uh, a citywide special economic zone is a charter light, um, if you will, charter city, and then a deep-seated, um, a deep-seated um, or deep dive charter city would be one where uh, the, a company would be the one running the 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 um, uh, largely led by potentially led by private investors would be running the the, the that city uh, and provide all the services that um, sometimes unfortunately the host government cannot uh, provide. Um, so it's 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 an idea, interesting idea, one that I'll be exploring in the next coming coming uh, months or so. Um, I know, for example, Jamaica. I should have mentioned this. Jamaica did not go down this road. We we we, we looked at it, but that's not an area that we wish to go down. Um, not at this time, I, and I don't foresee um, us going down that road. Um, our history, our constitution, our temperament doesn't. Um, really bode well for that sort of setup. However, um, times do change. Uh, we did look at it when we were crafting in the policy, crafting the policy and law and regulations, but it's not an area in which we wanted to go, so we didn't. Um, but other people or other jurisdictions have looked at it and in, in various, um, to various extents, have gone into charter cities. Um, either very light or some are looking to go heavy. I don't know of any example of it going extremely heavy where the city is run by a private corporation um, controlling everything. I, I, I don't know. I know of some examples where it was they started to do it like in Honduras, but it never went anywhere. So we'll see um, as I explore, we'll, we'll explore together. So if you liked what I had to say today, um, please like, share, or leave a comment down below. Um, please leave a suggestion for a future episode, and um, we will see you soon.